Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on evolute. What is evolute? The locus of center of curvature of a given curve we say it as gamma is called the evolute of the curve. For a given curve, its evolute can be visualized as a path that describes how the curvature changes along with the original curve. And what is involute? The given curve gamma is called the involute of the evolute. So, since it is a problem solving session, I am directly going to the problem. I do not uh, go much on theory part. How to find the evolute for a given curve? Step 1. Always you have to write the parametric form of the given curve. For example, suppose your curve is given as y square equal to 4ax. Now you know the parametric form of this. x equal to at square, y equal to 2at. If your curve is given as x square equal to 4ay, then still you know the parametric form. x equal to 2at, y equal to at square. Since in the Cartesian coordinate, we have both x and y, just convert this into one parameter. Here, for the parabola, the parameter is t. Suppose you have ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1, then convert the x and y in terms of the parametric form that is x equal to a cos theta y equal to b sin theta. Now the problem is in terms of one parameter theta then it is easy for me to proceed further. So step 1 write the parametric form of the given curve. Step 2 we have to find the derivatives y1 y2 that is dy by dx d square y by dx square. Once you find y1 and y2 using that I can find x bar. My x bar formula is this and similarly I can find y bar. This is my step 3. And step 4, we have to eliminate the parameter. Suppose if it is a parabola, t is the parameter. If it is ellipse, theta is the parameter. It may be anything, omega, alpha, gamma, etc. Now, we have to eliminate the parameter from this x bar and y bar, finding the relation between x bar and y bar. Then we can able to find the evolute of the given curve. So, this is the procedure. Let us go into the problem. The first example, we take the parabola y square equal to 4 I want to find the evolute of this parabola. Step 1. Write the parametric form. x equal to at square, y equal to 2at. Now, step 2. I want to find y1, y2. So, let us find this. Fill the data in the table. x equal to at square, y equal to 2at. Now, dx by dt is going to be 2at. dy by dt is going to be 2a. I want to find y1. My y1 is dy by d. But, we convert x and y in the parametric form and we remember from the functions of several variable dy by dx can be written as dy by dt divided by dx by dt or you can think like this dy by dt into dt by dx both are same now we know the values of dy by dt and dx by dt substitute here cancelling this 2a will be getting 1 by t. Therefore, my y1 is 1 by t. And students, just we remember what is differentiation of 1 by x power n minus n divided by x power n plus 1. Now, many students will do the error. They saw y1 is 1 by t t and using this formula they will write y2 is minus 1 by t square it an error you should be very careful what is y2 y2 is nothing but differentiation of y1 with respect to x but now my y1 is 1 by t. I cannot differentiate 1 by t with respect to x because my parameter is t. Now, I have to convert this problem like this. d by dt of 1 by t into dt by dx. And dt by dx is readymadely available here as dx by dt. I can just reciprocal it. I will get the solution for this. Now, apply the differentiation for 1 by t. Differentiation of 1 by t is minus 1 by t square and dt by dx x is simply 1 by 2at. Therefore, my y2 is minus 1 by 2a p cube and also my y1 is 1 by t. So, step 2 gets over. We have found our y1 and y2. Now, we are going for step 3. Step 3, we are going to find x bar and y bar. Find x bar and y bar I said in the previous videos, this is very essential. We have to find 1 plus y1 square by y2. 
टू ये अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर प्रॉब्लम वन प्लस वाई वन एस वन बाई टी ओल स्क्वायर वाई टू एस माइनस वन बाई टू ए टी क्यू ना सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस विल बी गेटिंग माइनस टू ए टी क्यू टी स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाई टी स्क्वायर नाउ टी स्क्वायर एंड टी स्क्वायर विल गेट कैंसल विल बी गेटिंग माइनस टू ए टी इन टू टी स्क्वायर प्लस वन सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस विल बी गेटिंग माइनस टू ए टी क्यू माइनस टू ए टी therefore we found our 1 plus y1 square by y2 next using this immediately i can find y bar because my y bar is very simple y plus 1 plus y1 square by y2 from the problem we know x equal to 80 square y equal to 280 therefore my y is 280 and 1 plus y1 square by y2 is available here minus 280 cube minus 280 now immediately i will cancel both and i can find my y bar is minus 280 cube Next, we have to find x bar my x bar is going to be x minus y1 into 1 plus y1 square by y2 just now i said x equal to 80 square so x bar is 80 square y1 is 1 by t then 1 plus y1 square by y2 is minus 280 cube minus 280 now simplifying this so minus into minus plus 280 cube by t is 280 square then plus a this is my x bar further simplifying we will be getting 380 square plus 2a my x bar is ready and my y bar is ready now step 3 get over we are in the final stage i want to eliminate this t from x bar and y bar then i can find the evolute of this parabola so let us write one by one this is my x bar and y bar my aim is to eliminate t so keep the t term in one side push all the other data to the next side therefore x bar minus 2a is equal to 380 square t square is x bar minus 2a by 3a so i have isolated t square on one side similarly we have to do for y bar y bar divided by minus 2a it is going to be t cube therefore in both the equations i have split t on one side remaining data on the other side now i want to eliminate t but the problem is here i have t square here i have t cube how to equate this please never try to substitute this here because t square into t you will be getting t is equal to square root of x bar minus 2a by 3a it is utter waste don't do this see the power is t square here the power is q if i take whole power 3 here and if i take all square here both my left hand sides will become t power 6 so it is easy for me to equate the right hand side so taking power 3 on both side i'll be getting t power 6 on the left hand side and whole cube on the right hand side similarly taking power 2 i'll be getting t power 6 on the lhs and minus y bar by 2a whole square on the rhs now it is easy since my lhs are same i can equate the rhs simplifying this x bar minus 2a whole cube is equal to y bar square here we have 27a cube and 4a square now i can cancel this a square with this cross multiplying this 4 into x bar minus 2a whole cube is equal to 27a y bar square so this is the relationship between x bar and y bar now we have eliminated the parameter the locus of center of curvature is called the evolute so now you have to replace x bar by x and y bar by y which gives the evolute for the given parabola therefore 27 a y square is equal to 4 times x minus 2a whole cube is the evolute for the given parabola y square equal to 4ax hope you understand thanks for watching subscribe to our channel and share to your friends see you in the next video bye bye